Yo, ha, 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 ha! What's up, guys? It's Terrell here, Terrell Game Vlogs, here to bring you a uh, pseudo response video, kind of a video in itself, but kind of a, a mainly a response video to uh, Nia or the video game her of sheattack.com. Uh, she posted a video, which is a rant on Nintendo's internet messaging system, pretty much their online infrastructure and how everything is set up, particularly targeting the usual suspects, you know, the lack of uh, uh, invites, notification, on-screen notifications, pretty much the usual schick sh at this point. And it's not, and, and before I go into this, understand Nia and everyone else who watches this, this is not a video saying that those things are not needed, that those things, that those things are bad for the console. Those are the type of things that can only really help the console. There is no negative side to it. So I'm not even really arguing that it's a bad, whether it's a good or bad thing. It's obviously a good thing. There's nothing, more options is always a good thing. I understand that. But it was for something in particular in your video that struck a chord me, which was the whole, when you said that you feel like you're the only one who complains about this stuff. And that's kind of what I want to talk about, which is, why is it that you don't really hear as many Nintendo fans? I think it was, you know, Shogyo did the whole Nintendo redirect thing, but everyone else is kind of was. Look, and I think what what I think what it really is is that it's not that Nintendo fans don't, you know, don't wouldn't you know don't want the stuff to happen. I think it's just that we're indifferent to it, because that's inherently my stance on it. It was like if on screen notifications never came to the Wii U, it would not bother me. Uh, inherently it would not bother me at all because I've learned to adapt to oh the things flashing always check the flashing light on my my gamepad um, the, but I do agree that ha not having these li these little features you know the on-screen notifications and the party chat and all that other stuff kind of contradicts the entire system's mantra the thing the way I always described the Wii U at was is that the Wii U is a console of, of, of a lot of tiny conveniences. So to have something as, you know, convenient as on-screen notifications or, you know, a party chat, that seems like a direct uh, contradiction, which it is. But the reason why not many Nintendo fans complain about it because none of the shit's, like, game-breaking or ball-busting in the sense that, like, oh, like, I, like, when it comes to online, and, and that's the other thing, the obsession online for me and for a lot of Nintendo see. I guess I should kind of, let me focus it for a second. Nintendo only gamers, the ones who only play on Nintendo consoles, which are very few. I, I, I don't even think I've seen one yet. The Nintendo only crowd does not care about online. And the reason why is because they haven't had enough experiences with online to give a shit about online. The ones who are Nintendo fans who care about online are the ones who've owned 360s and PS3s. I don't know any Nintendo-only owners who care that much about online, which is saying a lot. Also, Nintendo has never built their infrastructure around online gaming versus the other two. This is one of the reasons why I already know someone like Nintendo 720, before he even fucking purchased the console, wasn't going to like a Wii U. Like, I already knew that. And the reason why is because he's a Microsoft guy. Those are like complete fucking opposites. People don't realize what I when when I say shit like that. Microsoft people have specifically been conditioned into online multiplayer experiences. So anything less than that comes off as complete trash. That's why, like you know, that's why they'll never really understand Nintendo fans at all because Nintendo has always been about the single player or the local multiplayer experience. Like people are like, oh man, Super Mario 3D World needed online. Why? Like I, I still inherently disagree with that. I don't understand why that game needed online. To me, that game didn't need online. I mean, it, it doesn't have it. I'm just saying, I don't feel like there was a need. You know, the option is whatever. That's how I feel. I'm indifferent to the option of online being an, a, an option for the game, but inherently, I don't think it needed online. People just fucking said it because it was multiplayer. I'm like, holy shit. And that's kind of what it's turned into now. The, the the whole online push has become a lot more ridiculous than, you know, you kind of expected it to be. So, like, people feel like people are more worried about the multiplayer of a game than they are the single player, which is the complete opposite. If you're if you were 
if you're kind of heavy in Nintendo, it's always been about the single player or the low-key local multiplayer experience. It's never been heavy, heavy, heavy multiplayer. I'm not saying they don't encourage it, but they never pushed it as much as the fucking single player. Versus Microsoft, which has been the complete opposite. Almost every major gaming franchise they have on their console that does better on Microsoft has been kind of a multiplayer push. Why? Because that's the Microsoft, that's the thing that cornerstone was like the obsession with the shooter genre and the push for multiplayer, for online multiplayer. So when, you know, when it comes to the whole, you know, Nintendo online infrastructure, of course I could see someone like Next Gen being like, oh, the Wii U's a piece of dog shit. Well, yeah, because all you play are multiplayer games, dude. All you play are multiplayer online games on top of the stupid, you know, realism shooter bullshit. But getting back to the Wii U and its, you know, lack of features, it's kind of the reason why you wouldn't hear that many Nintendo fans. And this is just me. I'm just going to throw this out from this is just my personal opinion. If you, you know, if you're a Nintendo fan, you feel differently, which, you know, the ones who make videos do for the most part. I never cared that I didn't have Skype or some party chat feature on my Wii U. I don't even care about the fact that I that uh, for on screen notifications. The LED light does honestly enough to where I've come, like, because at this point I understand what it means. I can understand the console just came out and I was like, what does the LED light do? Why don't I have notifications? It's like, you kind of learn to adapt to these types of things. Like, it's the, to me, that would never be a straw that broke the camel's back situation. So it's, a, it's hard for me to be like ranting about, oh, Nintendo. Now, I do rant about things that inherently don't make any sense, like making a send messages feature in Smash Brothers and a join game type feature in Smash Brothers, but it's not even a universal thing. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Why the fuck would you, why would you do that for one game? And it, if it was the only online game on the console, it'd be a different story. Even then, it'd still be kind of weird, but it would make more sense because it's the only online game. So obviously, you don't have an infrastructure just for one game. But you have a decent number of games that are all online. Why the fuck is that join feature only really showing up for the Smash Brothers thing? Or are you just kind of slowly integrating that into the console and you're using Smash Brothers as a jump off point? The send messages thing is the only time, and I mean this, that was the first time I sat there and went, we should have had on-screen notifications. Why? Because why give me the option to send messages in-game Knowing full well I have to back out of online to check the messages. That made no fucking sense. And that's the only and the only reason why I'm even bringing that up is because they actively made it a feature in the fucking game. Why make that a feature knowing I'm going to have to back out of the online to fucking read the message anyway? Because you can't check me first until you get all the way back to the motherfucking home screen. So why even bring this shit up? But in terms of, like, the, the party chat, I don't really care about it. I mean, I mean, people always say, and see, here's the funny thing. As much as people want party chat for their console, half the people who clamor for it don't use it. I'm not saying you specifically, Nia. I'm just saying there's a good chunk of people who clamor for things and don't even fucking use them. It's like a lot of you would be like, oh, because, you know, you know, you know, uh, the PS3 and the 360 and Xbox One PS4, they have fucking party chat, at least in my assumption. But you never hear anyone talk about using party chat. They're usually every time you hear a conversation or something going on, it's on Skype. Why? Because Skype's the better option. There are so many different ways to interact with people that the situation you brought up that made you rage, like, rarely happens nowadays. Like, at all. Like, there's, like it's rare. You are rarely in a situation where you can't contact a friend through any other means but your game console. And see, if the game console was, like, my be-all, end-all in terms of overall connectivity with everything maybe I'd probably be a little bit more anal about this type of shit. But I'm not. Because it's not really a feat. Because it's not... You have all these other applications that can do the same shit. Why do I even care? Hell, here's the thing. Xbox... I think Xbox has its own party chat system. And people still choose Skype over it. So what the fuck do I need you to make a party chat system for? Just make a Skype app and allow me to use it in-game. And I literally wouldn't even care. And that's and here here I mean I guess and here's the question that'll kind of tell what kind of gamer you are, at least in terms of this whole online you know chatting uh, invitational system. How many of you guys use the invitational system on your PS3s and PS4s? That's the first question. The second question is if 
the Wii U had a Skype app that could be used in any game, would you still want Wii U specific party chat? That's a and that's a legit question because I, I want to see if people want it. If people just want the ability to do it, or they want Nintendo to make their own party chat system, because most people will probably just say Skype because they've used Skype before. They're familiar with it. It's simple, and you already know what the fuck you're doing. Because for me, it's like you can kind of tell Nintendo's not and see, and people always fucking throw this in their face and annoy the hell out of me. It's like, oh, the infrastructure's there on the other consoles. If Nintendo wasn't paying attention to the consoles like that in the previous gen, what the fuck made you think they were paying attention to the point in which they would copy a completely foreign infrastructure to them? They didn't even have their own networks. Why do people think that, oh, well, they just spent the last five to six years looking at the 360 and PS3 saying that's what they're going to do? Yeah, that's that's why they have a tablet controller because that's what they're really worrying on. No, no. What what is this fucking weird ass assumption that that that's that's what they were focusing on? They they should have been focusing on that. I'm not saying that wouldn't have helped, and I'm not even saying these features are bad. I'm just saying they really weren't worrying about that type of shit. They were kind of more worried about the console and the games and development and all that other shit. Which even that they didn't really get right because. They rushed the console out because they you can tell the Wii U was not supposed to come out in 2012. The Wii U was probably supposed to come out either this year or last year, if that, because they weren't prepared for any of this shit. None of these consoles were fucking prepared. And that's kind of the thing. It's like, it's like I understand the rant. I understand where you're coming from. And I, I'm not disagreeing and saying that these features wouldn't be nice. But me personally, and I know there's at least a good general amount of gamers who feel the same way. They wouldn't mind if they came to the system, but it wouldn't, it does, it's not killing you. Like, it legitimately isn't bothering me to the point. Like, I don't think I would ever get mad. It's like, oh man, I can't fucking, par I can't voice chat with my friend. Personally, that, and because Nintendo games have always been, for the most part, you know, single player or, as I said, local multiplayer experiences. So, none of this shit is even needed. Like, Nintendo gamers literally have the least amount of, Nintendo only gamers, I said Nintendo only gamers have the least amount of experience with online games anyway so with that being stated it's kind of hard for that group of fans to be like i want voice chat i want you know fucking in-game party chat i want fucking uh pop out notifications on the screen and shit it's kind of hard for the nintendo only fan to care about that because if they did care about that they would have already bought another console or they cared about it. And that feature was such a big deal. But it's kind of hard to be like raving about a feature that you inherently didn't even know about in itself. I mean, people still fucking bitch Nintendo out for not having trophies or achievements. Which is like the most arbitrary thing in gaming. Just because it's a fucking random ass feature. It doesn't really do anything. It's just there. And then when you find out that Miiverse actually has achievements. Um... And it's not like, and see, people will give the Wii U a whole bunch of slack saying that it doesn't multitask. It, yeah, it does. You can literally pause a game. You can literally go in and out of a game into Miiverse and go right back into your game. That's multitasking. See, I always I always hate that statement because people always act like the Wii U can't only do one thing at a time. No, it can do multiple things at a time. I mean, hell, you can, on the fucking internet browser, you can literally have a YouTube video playing on the fucking, on your main screen while surfing the internet on your second screen. It's multitasking is available on the console shit. You can literally jump from app to app with just simple tag presses. Literally, I can go from the eShop to Sega's website literally by going to the Sonic Boom thing and clicking Sega and it will just take me to Sega's website. The game, the, the console can multitask. It's just that people, they don't, it's not to the fucking retarded ass degree or the unrealistic or the unnecessary degree that is the Xbox Ones, meaning when you know you can watch a movie, play a game, and be on Skype at the same time. Why the fuck would you want to do all three? Is beyond me. See, and that's my whole thing. These are all like arbitrary features that you don't even need for the console. The LED light does its purpose enough. Is it is it relative? Is it way too fucking simple? And could the pop up notifications be better? Yes, but is it gonna fucking break the experience of gaming for me? No. Hell no. 
I don't fucking care that much. But as I said, don't fucking introduce a feature like they did in Smash Brothers where I can send messages but not give me the ability to check that shit while I'm online. Because it makes no fucking sense. Why am I able to send you a message online, but I can't even check the message that you send me back on motherfucking line? <laughs> That's what pisses me off, is the fact that they know that their console is limited in an area, and instead of just having a system that works around it, they literally had it do a direct thing to show that their system is incapable of doing that. And when you do that, that shows me that you inherently know you obviously have plans to do it. Like, at that point, I'm like, there's no reason why Nintendo would give you that option and not be like, yeah, we're going to add a join game button. And hell, Smash Brothers still needs a few updates for other things, too, like tourneys and shit. So the voice chat option is a slow grind. I think... And that's the thing. People keep acting like they were supposed to just steal ideas from Microsoft and Sony. Nintendo's never been about that. Because we, we, you know what we really want is, yeah, we want them to do a voice chat and party feature and then, you know, become forgotten like Sony's and Microsoft's because no one fucking talks about it. The only reason why the voice chat party option and the pop-up on-screen notifications is an issue is because Nintendo doesn't have it. Not because it's a thing that's so fucking awesome that we need to talk about it. It's just that because Nintendo doesn't have it because once again once they do have it it will become just as irrelevant as it is on the other consoles no one ever talks about that shit on the other consoles to me if, if they're still researching it and still trying to develop it and they can come up with a better version of it i would prefer that than you know them just throwing out a really basic ass one that's a piece of shit but hey that's just me that's just me Plus that, I think the other problem is that the mic, even the in-game voice chat that we can do currently is relegated to the mic on the gamepad. You can't even use a proprietary uh, mic for that shit, which doesn't make any fucking sense. So it's a slow grind. It's like, it, it doesn't really piss me off because it's something I inherently am not worrying about. I don't do party chat, period. Like I'm usually, if I'm going to do party chat when I'm on a video game, I'm probably going to use Skype anyway. Why? Because Skype is the better option, period. Even for consoles that have the fucking party chat on their console, most people still use Skype because people don't fucking care about the party chat on the console. In the invitation notification system, once again, people don't fucking care. <sighs> and then, you know, you got those group of people who say it's intrusive, but you know, whatever. But that's just kind of my whole thing. It's not like I... Just to kind of explain, it's like... It's not like the ideas wouldn't be nice. It's just that they're not inherently needed, and it's not something that would kill me to not have. I mean, fuck. And as I said before, something tells me that you could literally put a Skype app, and it would fix the problem in itself. A Skype app that could be used throughout the console, and I think no one would even really complain at that point. Because at the end of the day, I don't even think it's about them having their own system. I think it's just about the option being available on the console, period. Which to me is more of the worst of her. That's kind of the worst of the two options. Having a dedicated system is better because then you can tweak it and it can better and more efficient and shit versus just throwing in an app, which is the lazy way of doing it. Because they could have easily just thrown a Skype app on there if they really wanted to. Anyways, this video's been going on for almost 20 minutes. That's just my general thoughts and opinions. Please send me your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Herp derp derpity derp. Oh, I'll put Nia's video down there so you can see what this is stemming from. Anyways, this has been the Insane Game for Terrell Game Vlogs. Life's a game. Play to win. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Oh.